You can now program your FinchBot Online exclusively with Chromebook and Chrome applications. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with your FinchBot and Scratch X programming. You can use our Chrome apps for Finch and Scratch on a Chromebook or if using the Chrome browser with Windows, Mac, or Linux. Starting things off, we'll need to install the Finch Connection app. To do so, head to the Chrome Web Store through the browser. Once you have the store website loaded, type Finch Connection app into the search option. Next to the description for the app, you'll have the option to add the Finch Connection app to your Chrome apps. Select Add to Chrome. Once the app is downloaded, you will be able to open it from this website. For later use, you can also open the app from the app page in the Chrome browser. Quick note number one. If you are using Chrome on a Mac, you may have to disable AppNap to ensure that your programming runs smoothly. Disabling AppNap requires a few extra steps and a little extra time. If you need these instructions, please click the link below. With the Finch Connection app open, you will be able to check the status of your FinchBot to make sure it is connected. Below the connection status, you will be able to select which interface you would like to launch the Finch in. Select the Scratch option and a new tab will open for it in your Chrome browser. Quick note number two. When you open Scratch X, you will notice a short error message reminding you that Scratch X is an experimental interface for the FinchBot. This is nothing to worry about. Select I understand and continue. Now you will be able to program your FinchBot in Scratch X. Quick note number three. If you have Scratch offline editor programs built and saved using our BirdBrain robot server, they will not work in Scratch X if you have launched the bot with the Finch Connection app. The projects are not interchangeable. Final note. If you are going to add obstacles to your program in Scratch X, there are a few extra steps. Because our obstacle blocks are not Boolean in Scratch X, they must be used with an operator. Head to your control category and select an if-then block for this example. Now go into your operators and select an equal block. Now we'll need to grab a right obstacle block from the more blocks category and place it in the first value of the equal block. In the second value, type true. With this, when an object is in front of the right side of the bot, the program will read the statement as true. Add the completed equal block to the if-then block. Let's add a green LED to the test so that when an object approaches, the beak changes colors. Click the program to test it and the bot should respond. To check out more of our tutorials on Finch and Scratch programming, head to our YouTube channel.